Thank you, and thank you to our guest, Kenny Wayne Beek, for his gift of music. It doesn't, it doesn't tune up totally properly anyway. It came out of the dump. <laughs> Can't knock a blessing like that. Uh, this is, I spent a lot of years homeless. I spent four years in Portland homeless, and I'd been homeless for a, a few years before I got there, and couch surfing before that, which is, uh, that's a word that I think that uh, DHS and places like that started so that you don't know you're homeless. They're disguising that fact. But uh, when I got housed, I initially got denied uh, Section 8. My name popped up on the list after all those years. Uh, first, first piece of paper I ever filled out in Portland, and those, almost four years later, it popped up, and I said, oh, you'll get it, you'll get it. And I got denied. Like It popped up on the list, and I said, no. Nah. So I filed for an appeal, and I went, and I had a, what amounted to an argument with the woman at Portland Housing, and I won the argument because she was reasonable. If she, you know, if she had been unreasonable, I'd probably still be sleeping on the street. But the way that I found out that I won the argument was by her suddenly saying, I recommend you take this next year to work on your writing and your music and your art. Maybe take a couple classes at Portland Adult Ed. And I was like, so am I being housed? Because <laughs> I thought for sure I was going back to the street after this argument. But I was being housed. So when I got in there, this was the first song I wrote the first week I was housed. And the point of the song was that I knew a lot of people out on the street who were still out there. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people I wrote about in the song are now dead. I've been housed five years, and during that five years, my friends dropped like flies. In fact, this is a the concept of the song was I thought of my friends who were out there in relationships, couple relationships, romantic relationships, which is hard enough when you got a beautiful home and stuff to live in, but it's, on the street, it's really brutal. And particularly, I had Mike and Renee in mind, and Renee is no longer with us. Uh, Joanne actually performed that service. Thank you, Joanne. Um, it's called a person like anyone else. But all these things that I mentioned in there, I knew people that fit the bill of these particular positions in life, but were now living in the street. You know. Perhaps I'm a poet and should set you free But if I was a painter, I'd paint you here with me If I was a sculptor, I could capture how I felt The times when I held you and my icy heart would melt If I was a hero, I'd come and save the day if I was a pilot, I'd fly you far away If I was a sailor, you could sail away with me And if I was a jailbird, your love would be the key Perhaps I'm a person like anyone else I need a shoes and clothes to wear And maybe a house I need to feed and I need to hunger I may need a helping hand And I can see that we need each other To build the promised land Well, I'm a philosopher But I figure it out But if I were a carpenter I'd build us a house If I was a bricklayer I'd build it a stone And if I was a preacher, man Well, I'd pray my way home and if I was a preacher, man Well, I'd pray my way home Lord, take me home I don't like living in a world where the homeless 
have been reduced to a problem, a problem to be eliminated. It's much more complicated than that, and sadly, I think we really struggle with complexity. If I can make only one thing clear today, it would be this. I didn't meet the homeless population. I met Mikey, and I met Joe Blaze, who told me stories that curled my hair. I met Dr. Beak and Grizz, Crooked Taylor and Teardrop. I met CJ and Gray Wolf, who asked me to read his letters from his mom. I met the wizard as he dashed down the street, cape blowing out behind him. I met Renee and Rose and sweetheart Romeo, broken Eddie, Benzo Benny, and Blue Eyes. I met sweet Ronnie and soulless Chandler and Alan and Josh, Josh and James and Joy. I met Biggie and Bonnie. I met the sock man and the rose man. I met Cadillac Jack, who trained racehorses in Florida, and Handsome Bob, who is an incredibly talented artist. I met Chris, the reader, who has read more books on the street than anyone I know, and I had trouble locating new material for him. I met a man, formerly a scholar of Russian literature, who handed me on the street in the middle of a snowstorm a tattered and dog-eared copy of The Plague by Albert Camus. They are all unhoused, all unique, nuanced, and as impossible to truly know as each one of us.